The top 10 most valuable companies in the world. Global markets were tumultuous in 2018, erasing 100% of their annual growth in the final quarter. Tech stocks in particular took a huge hit because of controversies with Facebook and a general lack of faith in the sector. But world markets are still valued higher than at almost any time in history. From Chinese conglomerates to Nebraskan investment firms, these are the top 10 most valuable companies in the world. ExxonMobil Founded in 1870 by the famous John D. Rockefeller as Standard Oil, the company ExxonMobil has overcome many challenges, such as being broken up by the U.S. government. In 1888, it organized Anglo-American Oil Company to market oil in the British Isles, and two years later acquired a major interest in the German firm that would become SOHE. In 1898, it gained control of Imperial Oil Limited, Canada's leading oil company. This pattern of acquisitions continued until it became the world's most valuable company in 2012. Since then, oil prices have fallen, and it has dropped significantly in the rankings, but it is still an extremely valuable conglomerate. The world's 10th largest company by revenue, and is currently valued at $344 billion. JP Morgan Chase JP Morgan Chase is the largest bank in the United States and is ranked by S&P Global as the sixth largest bank in the world by total assets as of 2018 to the amount of $2.534 trillion. It is the world's most valuable bank by market capitalization. The history of JP Morgan Chase spans more than 200 years and includes numerous firms who merged to form today's banking behemoth. In 1799, New York Assemblyman Aaron Burr chartered the Manhattan Company as a New York water supplier. The Manhattan Company would much later merge with Chase Bank, which brought JP Morgan & Co. to form the company it is today. In fact, it was a business dispute between the Burr's firm and Alexander Hamilton's Bank of New York eventually led to the infamous duel that killed America's first Treasury Secretary. After centuries of acquisitions, JP Morgan Chase is one of the largest asset management companies in the world, with $2.789 trillion in assets under management and $30 trillion in assets under custody. It is currently valued at $387 billion. Tencent the other non-American business on the list, Tencent is a Chinese multinational investment holding conglomerate founded in 1998, whose subsidiaries specialize in various internet-related services and products, entertainment, artificial intelligence, and technology, both in China and globally. This February, the Chinese government giant Tencent briefly overtook US rival Facebook to become the world's most valuable social network company with a market capitalization of $540 billion. Yet, it is sitting on an advertising gold mine. Just 18% of its total revenue in the 2016 fiscal year came from online advertising. Compare this with Facebook's model. Advertising makes up 90% of its total revenue. Co-founded in 1998 by Ma Huateng, better known as Pony Ma, and four friends, Tencent launched its first product in 1999 a free PC-based instant messaging service called OICQ, later renamed QQ. It secured 1 million users in the first year, but the company remained unprofitable. It was only in 2001, following the launch of Mobile QQ, messaging platform for mobile phones, that Tencent turned its first profit. $1.2 million on sales of $5.9 million. Three years later, Tencent was listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. The company is currently listed at $490 billion. Berkshire Hathaway Warren Buffett's name is practically synonymous with his biggest success, Berkshire Hathaway. Warren became an integral part of Berkshire Hathaway in the early 1960s and helped the company expand into one of the largest conglomerates in the world. The company wholly owns Geico, Duracell, Dairy Queen, BNSF Railway, Lubrizol, Fruit of the Loom, Hellsberg Diamonds, Long & Foster, Flight Safety International, Pampered Chef, NetJets, and also owns 38.6% of Pilot Flying J, 26.7% of the Kraft Heinz Company, and significant minority holdings in American Express, Wells Fargo, the Coca-Cola Company, Bank of America, and Apple. 
Since 2016, the company has acquired large holdings in the major U.S. airline carriers and is currently the largest shareholder in the United Airlines and Delta Airlines and a top three shareholder in Southwest Airlines and American Airlines. Berkshire Hathaway has averaged an annual growth in book value of 19% to its shareholders since 1965, compared to 9.7% from the S&P 500, with dividends included for the same period, while employing large amounts of capital and minimal debt. No one is quite certain how Buffett pulls off this stock market wizardry, but the results are clear. Berkshire Hathaway is now worth more than $491 billion, making it number 7 on our countdown. Alibaba, the first non-American company to break the top 10. Alibaba Group Holding Limited is a Chinese multinational conglomerate specializing in e-commerce, retail, internet, and technology. In December 1999, towards the tail end of the dot-com craze, a group of 18 people, led by Jack Ma, started a wholesale online marketplace called Alibaba. In the 19 years since its inception in a small apartment in Hangzhou, the Chinese company has blossomed into one of the most diverse and valuable corporations in the world. Today, Alibaba is competing on a global scale against and in several instances outperforming its more ubiquitous American counterparts, including Google, Amazon, PayPal, and eBay. Jack Ma was first introduced to the internet on a visit to the United States in the 90s. A few years later, he decided to bet on the promising technology and, having secured $5 million in funding from a consortium of investors, started the Alibaba Group along with 17 other co-founders. The launch of Alibaba's online retail platforms, Alibaba.com and 1688.com, was fortunately timed. The consumer internet boom had only just arrived in China, and the local market wasn't as directly affected by the dot-com crash as its American counterpart. Other future e-commerce markets such as India had barely even begun exploring the sector. The company is currently valued at just shy of half a trillion dollars, making it the sixth most valuable company on our countdown. Facebook, as chronicled in the semi-dramatized biopic, The Social Network, Facebook has a tumultuous origin story. The founding of Facebook has been in dispute since the very week a 19-year-old Mark Zuckerberg launched the site as a Harvard sophomore on February 4, 2004. Then called thefacebook.com, the site was an instant hit. Now, 15 years later, the site has become one of the biggest websites in the world, visited by more than 2 billion people a month. The controversy surrounding Facebook began quickly. A week after he launched the site, Mark was accused by three Harvard seniors of having stolen the idea from them. This allegation soon bloomed into a full-fledged lawsuit, as a competing company founded by the Harvard seniors sued Mark and Facebook for theft and fraud, starting a legal odyssey that was resolved out of court in 2010. After a modest IPO in 2012, Facebook was only seeking to raise $5 billion of outside capital. Now, only a few years later, the company is valued at $541 billion, even after a year of controversy, making it number five on our countdown. Though the company has been criticized for selling users' data to outside parties, it appears that the social media behemoth is here to stay. Microsoft On April 4th, 1975, at a time when most Americans used typewriters, Childhood friends Bill Gates and Paul Allen found Microsoft, a company that made computer software. Originally based in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Microsoft relocated to Washington State in 1979 and eventually grew into a major multinational technology corporation. In 1987, the year after Microsoft went public, 31-year-old Gates became the world's youngest billionaire. Gates and Allen started Microsoft, originally called Microsoft for microprocessors and software, in order to produce software for the Altair 8800, an early personal computer. Allen quit his job as a programmer in Boston and Gates left Harvard University, where he was a student, to focus on their new company. Revenues of the company totaled $16,005 by the end of 1976, 
The company has come a long way since then. Between their now ubiquitous operating system windows and their suite of applications including Word, PowerPoint and Excel, the company is still a contender long after the fall of the dot-com bubble. The company is currently valued at $750 billion and Bill Gates is still one of the wealthiest people in the world. Despite the fact that he has already given 25% of his net worth to charity. Alphabet. When Larry Page and Sergey Brin first met, they didn't like each other very much. In the summer of 1995, Larry was considering a transfer to Stanford University's graduate program in computer science. Sergey was already two years into the program, and he had signed up to be a tour guide to potential students. One summer day, he showed Page and a group of other potential Stanford students around the Bay Area. Both individuals had strong opinions, and though they butted heads, they went on to found the world's most popular search engine, Google. Page and Brin developed a search algorithm, at first known as Backrub, in 1996. After a long series of developments and rebrandings, the pair spun Backrub first into Google and later into a much larger holding company called Alphabet. Alphabet's portfolio encompasses several industries, including technology, life sciences, investment capital, and research. Some of its subsidiaries include Caleco, Chronicle, GV, Capital G, Virilli, Waymo, X, Loon, and Google Fiber. Eric Schmidt, an executive at Alphabet, said at an Internet Association event in 2015 that there may eventually be more than 26 Alphabet subsidiaries. The business is currently valued at $766 billion. Amazon Currently valued at $777 billion, Amazon has completed a transition from a modestly sized online book merchant to the biggest retailer in the history of the world. The company is intrinsically linked to its controversial founder and CEO, Jeff Bezos. As a 30-year-old, Bezos was working as a stock trader on Wall Street when he took note of the internet revolution taking place in the mid-90s. Remembering this time, Bezos stated, The wake-up call was finding this startling statistic that web usage in the spring of 1994 was growing at 2,300% a year. You know, things just don't grow that fast. After making a list of the top 20 products that he could potentially sell on the internet, he decided on books because of their low cost and universal demand. It turns out, it was just the beginning. The company later diversified to sell streaming content, music, audiobooks, software, video games, electronics, apparel, furniture, food, toys, and jewelry. The company also owns a publishing arm, Amazon Publishing, a film and television studio, Amazon Studios, produces consumer electronic lines like Kindle e-readers, Fire tablets, Fire TV, and Echo devices, and is the world's largest provider of cloud infrastructure services through its AWS subsidiary. Apple. Since 2010, Apple has been one of the most valuable companies on Earth. It has owned the top slot on an annual basis from 2012 onwards, with some occasional jockeying for position between Exxon and Amazon. The reason Apple is valued so highly is simple on the surface. The company makes popular products with generous margins, and they manage to do what almost no other company does, sell high-end luxury products to the average consumer. If you own a single extravagant item, there's a pretty good chance it's an Apple product. Though it has topped the $1 trillion mark in the past, the company is currently valued at $927 billion, easily making it the biggest company in the world. Founders Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak created Apple Computer on April 1st, 1976, and incorporated the company on January 3rd, 1977 in Cupertino, California. For more than three decades, Apple Computer was predominantly a manufacturer of personal computers along the Apple II, Macintosh, and Power Mac lines, but it faced rocky sales and low market share during the 1990s. Jobs, who had been outed from the company in 1985, returned to Apple in 1996 after his company, Next, was bought by Apple. The following year, he became the company's interim CEO, which later became permanent. Jobs subsequently instilled a new corporate philosophy of recognizable products and simple design, starting with the original iMac in 1998. With the introduction of the successful iPod music player in 2001, 
and iTunes Music Store in 2003, Apple established itself as a leader in the consumer electronics and media sales industries, leading it to drop Computer from the company's name in 2007. Now the company trades in upscale watches, pencils, and cloud computing, among many other products. Well, there you have it, the top 10 most valuable companies in the world. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to check out my channel in the link at the top of the description. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Pip pip de doodly doo.